Hi everyone, welcome to Shorty Street Scandal. Today we're crossing live to Christchurch Prison to speak with Toby. How is it going? <laughs> Got it. Um, it's pretty rough here in prison, eh? No, we have Rob Everson on Skype to do an interview today. So, first of all, what's been the most bizarre scene that you have done on Shortland Street? The scene where um, Toby writes a love song, a really heartfelt song for Honor. <laughs> He feels the need to perform it in um, Shoggy Cafe in front of everyone, but no one's really into it, you know? <laughs> yeah. And the funny thing is about it, I was trying to make it sound good, and still no one was really Aww. into it, so <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a toughie for me. Aww. One of my most bizarre Toby moments was when Harry and Toby, it was a Halloween episode, they went into like the garage. And Harry was like, I've got some plants. And he, he started like mashing them up and made it into a potion. And Toby was like, what are you doing? Stop. And then he, Harry just drank it all up. Yeah, yeah. You have quite a big, a big fan base. Have you had any creepy fan experiences since Shorty Street? One creepy one that I always recall is I, I was in the supermarket just with my mum, you know, as you do. And... <laughs> There was this lady and she was looking at me and, but this wasn't kind of like a healthy stare. She was kind of <laughs> like a really uncomfortable kind of apprehensive look that she was giving me and I couldn't figure it out. And so anyway, she eventually approached me and she was, and I guess it was like seven o'clock at the time and she was like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? She's like, you're supposed to be on TV, aren't you? And I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, well, it's not like shot live or anything. She's like, what? <laughs> Why aren't you in Fairdale, Toby? Like, that is probably one of the spookiest moments I've experienced <laughs> since Shorty started. Was it a, a full-grown lady? It was. I don't know if she thought the show was shot live or if I was supposed to be in Ferndale or what, but that scared me a little bit. So let's talk about the, um, the final Toby storylines. So they got quite emotional. Brett, his dad, was... Um, got made him very violent and I remember a scene where um, Toby had to just like swing around a baton. It was just like for a long time just like and Yeah, but I mean was that awkward to film or? Yeah, because like, if you've got a baton or used the baton, quite lethal and <laughs> Being told to be aggressive with it and not hit anything and just kind of lash out at the air is quite difficult. Yeah, yeah um, and Toby kept saying, I hate women and hippies, but and there, was, there weren't really any hippies on the show, but it was, it was like a weird saying that he started saying a lot after Brett came on the scene. <laughs> hippies and women, they mean well, but mate, this is the real world. So Toby killed his dad, did you actually hit him with a spade? I remember going like having a spade and he was lying there and it was supposed to just be a clean hit away from his body but one time I accidentally just swung a bit wide and hit him so like I was, I was, I was actually really worried because I was trying to get into the scene um, I was all over the place but yeah I accidentally I did once So Toby went to jail in the end did, was that sort of your decision to leave the show? No not really like they, they discussed it with me before yeah. I, I left the show and I said uh, but yeah, well, like, if you think this is the best way to go and stuff like that. But what I was mainly interested in was just a, a good storyline to get involved in, which mm -hmm. it was. So I was just really stoked to have the opportunity to have that murder storyline with my dad and stuff because that was <laughs> probably the best few months that I had in the show, you know? Oh, yeah. Do you think if you got the opportunity, <laughs> you'd come back on? Well, Toby's not dead, so yeah. I think there's definitely the potential. And, yeah, it's, it's an awesome place to work in, like... Wicked oh. bunch of people that work there. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Final part, part of the show, Shortland Street character impersonation game. You and I are going to take turns impersonating a character, and the other person has to guess who it is. Okay. <clears throat> Ula. Ula. How rude. <laughs> Any guesses? Leanne! Yeah. The beautiful Leanne. That was amazing. Okay, my turn. Hey, Bob. Hey, uh, Sarah. You wanna just take these ones into Edie? Just close the curtains off, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All good. <laughs> the tea pack. Very well done. 
Here's the next one. Tobes. Oh, Toby. Tobes. Oh. <laughs> is that Emma? Yep. <laughs> very, very well done. Okay, this is this is one that I've been working on recently. I don't know if it's that good, but. <clears throat> <laughs> Look, Harper, you just need to let go, you know? Like, oh, I just got this really smooth <laughs> voice, man. Is that Garrett? Thank you. That was yes, good. Yes. That was good. Oh, okay, final one. <laughs> this one's not very good. Okay. Kane, we have to bury a dead body. I got a sore stomach when I eat too much food. <laughs> I think you're being... You're being tough, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you're being, that's actually quite good. Impersonation. <laughs> I think it was terrible. Okay. Well, thank you so, so much. We've, I've had a lovely time. As have I. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Go follow Robbie on Instagram, please. That was really fun, and I hope you enjoy.